What up, players? It's Wallboss Tampa this mud. Look at this guy. Ooh, he's mean. He's ready for war. It's our Iron Hand Space Marine. He is all done and ready to go. The colors that we use for him are, in this video, we use Sotek Green, Rakart, Flash. Sorry, I'm trying to get him all in the light here. Lead Belcher. Haraberg Crimson. Drukai Violet. Celestra Gray. Dryad Bark. Ulthuin Brown. Abaddon Black. Mephiston Red. And that's it. I also used some of the transfers from the Iron Hands transfer sheet on sale at Games Workshop, but you don't have to do that. You could use um, just freehand it, or you could use some of Forge World, sell some brass etch as well as a transfer sheet for the Iron Hands. So that's another option. But hope you guys liked it. Uh, we also gave him we gave him some stubble, we did the the transfers, we highlighted things back up. So this is where we are. I hope you guys liked it. Iron Hands severely misrepresented or underrepresented in the fluff and hopefully that'll change with the release of more Horus Heresy stuff and the new Space Marine Codex wherever that is on the horizon. Thanks for watching everybody. Laters! Okay, we're gonna take... Where is it? Either White Scar or Uthuan Gray. I can't find my white scar right now, so we'll go with this for the, the eyeball. I'm also gonna paint his teeth. Brr. Still has human teeth. Even though half of his face is a Terminator mask. Okay, now we're gonna take a Chaos Black one more time and we're going to dot the pupil. There we go. So that is our face done. If you want, you can add some, uh, some like hair to the top, but I kind of like him like completely shaved because of how messed up his his whole skin is. In fact, we're gonna put some Carbert Crimson, and if I can find my Drukai Violet, a little bit of purple wash. So we're going to suggest a little bit of. Scarification and irritated, irritated skin right here, and all around these jacks in the back of his head. Well, if I don't find it, we might have to use a different purple wash, yeah. Uh, unless Igor, can you find my Drukai Violet? Oh, bullshit, we're right over here. Igor, you are a lifesaver. Remind me to give you a raise. Oh, you didn't pay me in anything. No. So 
try to keep it only on the actual fleshy areas rather than on the don't let it get onto the the metallics what I'm also gonna do is <laughs> I like the idea of there being some stubble if not on his head then on his face because of how how just jacked up he is so to make our stubble we're gonna use Abaddon black we're gonna mix this all on our wet palette Abaddon black a little bit of dry and bark I'm gonna show you our wet palette too for us making our stubble and what's our third color Celestra Grey. But these three colors combined. Oh no. We have our stubble mix. So we're gonna paint it onto his chin. Right under his nose, on his upper lip. Look how grizzled he looks now. Yeah! No pretty boys for the iron hands. Looks like, looks like a... Looks like a sailor! Let's also get his head. He lets his hair grow out. He's got augmentics and biotics everywhere. What's he what's he gonna do? Shave every eight hours? No, he's a man. He's a superhuman man with feelings. <laughs> Hi, he looks like Popeye. If Popeye was a space marine with half a face. Okay, so that is the end of that. The last thing we're gonna do is check it out. I've got a bunch of Iron Warriors transfers. Bought it on a total whim. It's from Games Workshop. You can't even see it because of because it's all in white. Because hello, obviously the armor is black. So I'm going to choose a couple of appropriate ones. We're gonna use it as um, we're gonna use it as transfers on our guy here. But this is about it. If you wanna freehand your design. The design is like a hand on a, a white hand like that looks like it's in a gauntlet on the left shoulder pad and on the right shoulder pad uh, it, like some kind of cogs and gears but um, I'm gonna cut those out and put those on right now show you what it looks like and we'll end the video right after this. Alright so welcome back everybody we're gonna get get a cracking continue going with this guy so first thing I wanted to do looking at his skin colors, I want to darken it a little bit more. So we're going to take Raiklin Flesh Shade and we're going to paint that right onto his skin. There we go. Right, and while that's drying, we're going to take our lead belcher and we're just going to re-highlight all of the metallic areas, the silver areas that got um, worked over with the null and the oil. So like here on the bolter, it's just about like all of it. I'm going to stick to the center, try to leave the shades in the the recesses and the shadows, but if you look at the Games Workshop Iron Hands um, upgrade kit, you'll see that their their models are super duper bright. I don't really care for it. Looks like they painted them with um, what's it called, Mitro Silver or the new Rune Fang Steel. Not really, not really my bag, baby. Okay, now I'm gonna paint the, the rims of our shoulder pad here. All 
that. And you can con continue if you want, but it looks like most of the silver metallics got through it. Pretty okay, so we're just gonna leave that for now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take... Here we go. We're gonna take Steel Legion Drab. We're gonna take a really thin lining of it and we're going to edge highlight the pouches. Let's make sure we can see them. Thank you, Igor. You're welcome, Austin. Trying to get as, as much to the edge as we can. And um, if you make a mistake or you get too much into a separate area, just take your dryad bark, which was what we painted the, the main color of the pouch, if you remember, and just kind of sheet that over. As a whole though, I like this dark brown of the, the dryad bark rather than the more reddish brown of, say, Mornfang. Okay, you might see some wires on your Space Marine's armor, and those wires are going to be painted with Mephiston Red. So helmets are going to be painted the same way, and the helmet eye lenses are going to be Mephiston Red. This guy doesn't have a helmet. So we're just gonna skip over that, but also if you want to do like a sergeant or a veteran sergeant, uh, you would only do this for one person in your in your squad just to show some difference. But you could paint the sergeant's helmet red with a white stripe going down the middle, um, and that is pretty cool. We're also gonna take Mephiston red and we're gonna paint his little Terminator eyeball. Okay, you might notice he's got some, some jacks leading into his head. So we're gonna take Lead Belcher and we're going to paint those in. It's like uh, the Matrix. The ports, jacks going into his head. And take that lead belcher and paint it onto the Terminator skull too. Oh my god, I just realized that that's gonna be playing over the music. It's gonna sound pretty bad. All right, let's see if I can find my Runefang steel. I don't know where it is, but I do have my Mithril silver ready. So if you have Runefang steel, we're just, we're just gonna be painting the brightest silver that you have. Yeah, I guess I, it's not around. So I've got my old Mithril silver here, and basically going to be painting, highlighting just the toppermost most reflective surface, uh, surfaces. I mean, this army is going to be so much quicker to paint up than a like a an ultramarines or 
or even something like a Blood Angels army because all those other ones have a lot of details and these guys are very, very simple. They've got one highlight color, this blue. And um, yeah, you don't even have to do this silver shoulder pad markings. You could do it in straight black and keep it there. And it'll be fine. I'm going to paint the rest of the face now. So uh, if you are using a helmeted head, you probably don't need to see this. So you can skip to, um, I guess, the, the last part of the video, which is going to be just doing the um, insignia and ranks and stuff. Just taking my black now and painting it over the shoulder pads. So, yeah, speaking of black, I'm using Chaos Black and this is going to be our Marine's human eyeball. Also going to use it to line the bottom of his thing there. I'm using a head with the little silver studs on it, so I'll be painting those in my Thrill Silver rather than Lead Belcher because my Thrill Silver will pick up nicely. These silver studs are, I think, they're marks of, I guess, just to show that how long you've been in the chapter. Is that right? That might be right. I think so. I think that's right. Shows like status, right? Like seniority. You've been there for a long time. I don't remember. All my fluff is just running into my my brain right now. All right, we're back. We're just about to wrap up here. I decided to do his base in a kind of brown theme, um, just because there's so much black, silver, white that um, doing the standard, uh, you know, gray, urban. DK just didn't seem to match for me, so I kind of like this. I, I, I think it works pretty well. Um, it's the same as my as my fantasy bases, which is Mornfang Brown followed by Steel Legion Drab, followed by uh, dusting of Rackhearth Flesh over the top. And then, um, yeah, that's it. And then Steel Legion Drab for the rims. So gonna finish the base for that for now yeah I don't know I don't know if I'm, <laughs> if I'm, if I'm totally in love with it I might change it back to gray later um, but the last thing we're gonna do for him is actually give him some blue eyeshadow and the thing we're gonna use for that is a awesome color called wait, where did it go I just had it so tech green so tech green Oh no, that's Temple Guard Blue. Ah, oh, they all look the same. Igor, you small stud. Have you seen my show tech green? Of course, it's right here. You're the best. Live in manservant. Anyone could ever ask for. Alright, so we're gonna paint it right underneath his human eye. Again, if you do not have a unhelmeted head, an unhelmeted head, then don't worry about it. Right, and last we're gonna take some Rackarth Flesh and we're going to use this to highlight the skin under the bags of his eyes and his cheek. And his 
his nose and just a little bit of his brow. Right, and there you have it. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit closer so you can see. Here is our uh, Iron Hand Space Marine. He is a member of the third clan company, whichever one that is. And he's got some stubble, he's got some scarification. Here's his Iron Hands chapter insignia. And uh, comparatively, for all the, all the work that we do, it was a very quick job overall compared to other Space Marine chapters. So, hope you guys liked it, and um, thanks for watching. Latest players!